Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's episode of Lewis Presents. I'm here outside the grave of Annie Chapman. Uh, she was the second victim of Jack the Ripper. I'm here at Manor Park Cemetery, here in Manor Park E12, here in the heart of the East End of London. Annie Chapman was born in Paddington in 1841. In 1869, she married a relative of hers called John Chapman. They had three children, John, Emily and Joan. In 1881, uh, John got a job as a coachman to a local bailiff and they moved to Windsor. And then sadly, their daughter Emily died of meningitis aged 12. And then John and Annie took to heavy drinking and it caused the couple to separate. They separated in 1884, Annie moved to Whitechapel in London and then she was receiving a weekly allowance of 10 shillings a week and she took up living with another man. She'd become a flower sower, a crochet maker, and then in 1886 the allowance was cut off. Her husband John died of drink-related symptoms. He did, did died, died of sclerosis of the liver. Then the man she was living with separated from her as well, and she fell upon hard times. And then Annie took upon starting to become a prostitute. And they said that on the 8th of September, just after midnight in 1888, she was seen leaving her lodgings looking for a client to pay for her lodgings for the evening. At 5.30 in the morning at 29 Hanbury Street, an eyewitness said they saw her talking to a man who had a foreign accent, a deerstalker hat and a dark overcoat. At 6 a.m., a local meat porter by the name of John Davis walked out into the yard of 29 Hanbury Street and he found the body of Annie Chapman. She'd had her throat cut, her body had been mutilated. The police were sent for. At 6.30, a police surgeon called Dr. Phillips turned up on the scene. And they, as they put Annie Chapman's body onto the police ambulance, they said her head nearly came off. Her throat had been cut down to the spinal cord. At the inquest, Dr. Phillips literally couldn't speak through the injuries that Annie Chapman had suffered. And then on the 14th of September, 1888, she was brought here to Manor Park Cemetery to be buried, and it was a secret funeral. The police, fearing there could have been riots, hysterical crowds here, the only people that knew about Annie Chapman's funeral was the police, the undertaker, and the relatives of the family. A hearse turned up from Whitechapel Moultrie at the front entrance at Seabirt Road at the Forest Gate entrance here at Manor Park, and her funeral was held here at nine o'clock in the morning. And she was put into grave 78, 12 foot down basically she was put into a pauper's grave and now over the years her grave has been buried over and all that remains now is this plaque saying Annie Chapman was buried here and was one of the victims of Jack the Ripper. I've often wondered why with the Ripper victims do people leave money as you can see today and it was because in those days the price of a bed for the night was fourpence and this is what these ladies were selling themselves for. Annie Chaplin was just a victim of the times. She had a well-to-do life when she lived in Windsor with her husband John, and then when the couple separated, she fell upon hard times. In those days, there were no benefits, no allowances, no council houses, no financial assistance of any uh, place possible. But she is, she is remembered here today in Manor Park Cemetery. This plaque has been here since 2008. And I can't help thinking that Annie Chapman deserved better than this. Surely some kind soul somewhere, maybe one day will give this woman a gravestone. Anyway, that ends today's episode of Lewis Presents. It's entitled, Annie Chapman, The Second Victim. Thanks for watching.